sitting on a pad, right, <laughs> on a machine. And I had my back turned to her, and she snuck down, and she just came, and the machine was on, and she just slapped the pads. That, 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 that part. And it yeah. sounded really good. And she slapped the pads, and I uh, whipped up, bought upstairs, and came down, and I heard, God, oh, my God, that's the damn drum. That's, the damn drum. <laughs> <laughs> that's hot. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. The music, man, um, that bowed it, man. That bowed it. That was, hey, listen, man. <clears throat> man, you know, I, I ain't gonna lie to you. When I heard it, bro. I represent. I'm a young kid, bro, really. I would, how old would you when y'all done that? I don't know, but my second daughter was two, and she did the drums on that record. Are you serious? No. Uh, yes. How old? Two? She was two. Wow. Are you <clears> serious? <throat> yeah. How did she know? Well, I can't say that. No, you know, your kid, because they born into it. Well, it, it was more, she didn't, she didn't, and that, she didn't initially, well, put, let me tell you how it went. Well, I was up in there, I was working, I had my drum machine right here, had my keyboards right there, and I had my drum machine, I, in loop mode and record. Yeah, and I yeah. Just, but she used to always come down there and just see me hitting on the pad, right, <laughs> on the machine. And <laughs> I had my back turned to her, and she snuck down, and she just came, and the machine was on, and she just slapped the, the pad. Dude, the dude, the dude, that part. And it hey. sounded really good. And she slapped the pads, and I whipped up, bought upstairs, and came down, and I heard, God, oh, my God, that's the damn drum to the guy. <laughs> <laughs> That's hot. And, so, wow. and, and it worked. And it worked. It worked for me. Man, I ain't gonna lie to you, bro. That thing made us turn up. Every city, you had to feel that, man. Yeah. I, did you know I, it was that? Let me let me ask this. Did you know it was that impactful when you done it? Nah, because it's like I really don't have this thing about when I make music, especially back then, I just made it whatever sound good. Why mm -hmm. if, if it felt like it was something that was worth keeping, I just kept it. Wow. But I never knew that um, the beat itself had that impact. But the beat, I was doing it, it was for um, a song for Mr. Servon. Okay. Called, um, it was a song called Bucking Like a Winchester. Okay. That uh, uh, Full Blooded from No Limit, one of the artists that I bought there, he was helping, him and Sir was writing that record. But that's that's what happened. And um, <clears throat> that was at the beginning stages of me meeting P. And P came to New Orleans, and he needed he needed to cut a commercial for Wild Wayne at the at the radio station. Okay, and it just happened that beat was up, and he came. He cut the commercial, and before you know it, the commercial got hot, and he he took it. Uh, we took it to California and made a full song of it. That thing went in. It was a <clears> remix <throat> too, wasn't it? No, no, it that was, one now. Wait, which version is that? Uh, is that is that the one on Ice Cream Man album? Yeah, that's 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 part two. That's part two. I know it was two of them. That first one. The first one was on the TRU album with my daughter did the drums. Did the drums. Yeah, that's part two. I knew it was two of them because yeah. I I listened to both of them things. So whenever um your daughter got of age and you told her what she did <laughs> and that she's actually on the album, where she could understand what she did, what was her response? <laughs> <laughs> she like what else? You want to know? Yes, I do. Okay, when she used to see and understand what publishing was. Mm -hmm. She used to see these big manila envelopes where more of my checks used to okay. come in. So when she found out that she did it, she said, well, Dad, if I did the beat, um, Where's my check? Why I ain't getting paid for it? <laughs> I need that. <laughs> <was coming. laughs> That's it. Them girls gonna let you know they ain't gonna play with you. Yeah, so, She's like, uh, where my cut? <laughs> oh, yeah. Them girls ain't gonna play with you, man. So are any of your kids in music? No, but my grandson, he want to do it so bad. Really? How old is he? He nine. Okay. okay, you working with him? You been letting him hang around you? When now I he, say working with you, just got well, he, he 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 see me do it. I promise you, it's just natural to him. Papa, you gonna teach me the day or what? Oh, every time. He won't do exactly what I do. That's hot. But you know, with technology and everything like that nowadays, <laughs> he'll go on YouTube and figure it oh, out himself figure. and say, "Papa, guess what I learned." Let me show you. Right. Exactly. Because let me tell you something. I remember when he was like three, and I promise you, we was, we was in the bed watching TV, right? And I think we was watching Animal Planet or something. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And they were doing something about the um, 
the prehistoric animals. Okay. And I promise you, and I'm not exaggerating, he was telling me all of these animals by this scientific name. Mm-hmm. Papa, that's a, not a T-Rex, a Tyrannosaurus Rex. Wow. Mm-hmm. He, he knew it. Yeah, he said, Papa, that's a pterodactyl. Oh, he owned it. So Kind of like Malachi. 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 Yeah, yeah. I was saying the same about, thing. Like, yeah. and, and just think about it. This is something. They're not teaching them this in school. No, he just mm-hmm. like it. nothing like that. No, he mm-hmm. just like it. It's something right. that well, I was saying the same thing. They go through the stage because he went through, our son went through the stage where he was into all the dinosaurs. He could, I'm like, where did you learn that? Sometimes it, it'd be on cartoons and, he, and the things that they pick up. And we thinking that these cartoons are rubbish. Right. Well, Unless it's just a totally educational, right, right. But even the ones that are, that are not totally educational, they still learn a lot from. Yeah, we on boss talk one on one.